I'm gonna show everybody your outfit. Ooh, you got shirt, little shorts. So cute. Hi. <laughs> Let's go. We made it out. <laughs> My voice is so a little bit weird. I uh, haven't been out in a week. Um, I've been so sick, you guys. You can't put your Yoda sock on? I'll help you. Yay, Yoda socks are on. So the first order of business is go to In-N-Out. We haven't been there in a week. We got In-N-Out going, yay. <laughs> Quinn says, yeah. And uh, second order of business is that today I'm 17 weeks pregnant. So yay, hooray. I'll do a little bump shot for you. I have much here. Is that good? Is that good? I'll pick the fuzz off for you. It'll all be nice for you. There you go. Man, I have just um, been so sick that honestly today was the first day that I even felt like going out at all. Um, and I've been coughing a lot, so my voice is still. You hear Quinn cough? Poor thing. She's got what I have. Um, it doesn't seem like it's as bad because she's not coughing through the night like I have been where I haven't really been getting good sleep. Over the weekend, um, John let me sleep uh, a lot. <laughs> so I think that really helped him with me feeling better today. All right, ready to order. Okay, so I have a cheeseburger with bread only, two double meats, one with bread only, the second one, animal style with no pickle, one fry, a chocolate shake, and a strawberry shake. Yep, that is it. Yes, Daddy, Aiden. My yes. tummy was grumbling. Your tummy was grumbling? Yeah. Let's fill it. Let's fill it with goodness. I just felt. Kind of grumbling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I felt one time. Just one time. Did you know mommy has two stomachs right now? Oh. One for the baby and one for you. Yeah, good job Aiden. It's kind of a riddle, huh? What is a riddle? Uh, like where you have to figure out what someone means. You're like, what? And then you're like, oh. You figured it out, right? Good job. Riddle. So back to In and Out because obviously I'm obsessed. Um, it's kind of funny. The girl. Um, this is not the location that she works at, but she works at um, the one that we. Nah, I don't know if we normally go there. Probably at like 50/50. But uh, she works there, and she t <laughs> she tweeted me the other day, and she was like, "Um, oh, haven't seen you at In and Out in a little while. Everything okay?" <laughs> <laughs> like, oh man, when your local In and Out employee is checking up on you on Twitter, that just cracked me up. So, um, and also made me crave In and Out really badly. So maybe that's a good trick for, you know, <laughs> different restaurants. You know, like start tweeting your customers Daddy. and they'll eat more. Yes, Quinn. I love you too. That's not what she said, but I'll take it. Hey guys, long time no talk. I've been so sick. Um, been battling, yes, <laughs> been battling bronchitis and trying to do it sort of naturally um, just because I don't want to be on drugs for the baby. Yes, baby. You ready to eat? So we just finished the In N Out. Big surprise, I know. You guys <laughs> shocked by the In N Out excursion here. Um, so our tummies are full. I forgot to vlog in there. But it was really sweet when we were leaving. There was this um, older gentleman sitting with his wife, and um, he came over to us as, um, as we like were already walking away from our table and just said, "I can tell that you guys are a loving family by how you treat your children." And we were just like, "Oh, thank you." And then he asked if we were Christians. And we were like, "Yes, we are." And he just said, "Praise the Lord." And we we're both just like taken back yeah, by that. Really cool. It's very cool, um, and for someone to well, see, is, we should be a good testimony. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, that is pretty cool. I mean, definitely. Not only did he say, you know, how he saw what a loving family we were, but that it reflected a love of Jesus. That was just like beyond a compliment. We were just like so happy to hear that. And um, and then Declan passed out. That's always fun. <laughs> Oh, he was so sleepy, huh? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi.
They actually went swimming earlier today. Yay! They are awesome. It is. We've been trying to get some more practice in between our swim swim lessons. And they did really good. Yeah, with um, the school that they're in, you know, it t teaches them mostly about like safety before anything else. And so the back foot has been a big hang up. And uh, they did so good. So good today. One more errand for the day and then home for the movie night, right? Yeah. One movie more, night. One more stop, Aiden. One more stop. Do you guys, um, how do you make your popcorn? We make our popcorn with air an pop. air popper. That's right. And uh, we actually don't have a microwave. Anyone else out there? Said, have you ever said that before? I don't know if you've said that before. It was kind of on a bet, but by a friend who is kind of into not having one for health reasons, but he's just like, try putting it in the garage for a week. So mm -hmm. we did. And we're like, wow, this isn't really that <laughs> big of a deal. Yeah, it's really nice. Just got rid of it. Everything tastes one. better. We haven't had one for years. Boys have, yeah. been, boys have never known a microwave. <laughs> yeah, they actually did see a microwave at a friend's house, and they're like, what's that? Like, yeah, that's how you nuke your food. You know, it's like, <laughs> if you really think about, I don't know, it's just like break down your food, like all the nutrition in the food, it breaks down. Anyway, I'm not going to go all crazy on you. Any soapbox about yeah, no soapbox, but you can Google it if you want. <laughs> Anyway, we so we pop popcorn in air popper, which is super fun for the kids. And then we do coconut oil and sea salt. Ooh, delicious. Okay, we had a great weekend. Um, John took the boys swimming again today, so they swam two days in a row. And Aiden actually floated today on his back. I think John said four times, unassisted for like ten seconds each. So that's amazing because that was a big hurdle uh, he needed to get over in order to continue in his swim class. So we're really excited about that and um, they're so tired from swimming and being out in the sun today that um, when John was putting away their clothes upstairs, I came in and they were both out by nine o'clock, which is a small miracle around here. We're just night owls, so usually they're talking to like 10 or something, but yeah, anyway. So to close the vlog, I just have to show you that cuteness. I'm just like, oh my gosh, so cute. Also, baby boy is kicking. I'll have to do a little pregnancy update soon for you guys because he's definitely really low down here. And yesterday, I wasn't sure I felt the kicks, but today for sure he's having a little baby party in there. So he says hi too.